What's up guys, we're back with more Lay Seraphim videos and for today we have the second collaboration with Prod Imase. We have Dress Code as well as the 2023 uh, Mama Dance Break Dress Rehearsal. Now I'm extremely happy that they released like a dress rehearsal for their Mama performance just because when I was like watching um, the entire Mama, which by the way is uploaded on Patreon, uh, some of the shots uh, were blurry not because of the stream quality but I think it's more on the fact that the camera work was just so bad right so there there were some instances that uh, they were having like dance breaks but the shots were just too wide and we can't even see them perform it's like we're, we're seeing some ants dancing on stage so yeah i'm extremely happy for that one but for now uh let's check this out first we have the les seraphim dress code prod imase collaboration let's go what was their first the jewelry right was it jewelry Okay, kind of a similar vibe with their first collab song. Oh, it's in Japan. Japanese. Japan. Okay, check. Who's prolonging that note? Is it Jinche too? Okay. Ooh. I like this instrumental right here for the second verse. Someone's voice here. <laughs> That's break. This is a Okay, so, huh? Now, is it Yunjin holding that note? Then probably everyone doing that, that Tari, uh... I'm surprised that uh he wasn't here, right? Wait, did he? Wait, you know what? Let, let's run this. What was this track? I mean, did he? He had a part there, right? Imase, in um, Lay Seraphim. Where is their discography? Show all. Uh, where is that? This one. Hello. 
Wait, didn't he have his part here? I love this verse here. Yeah, anyway, maybe it's the music video. That's why I remembered him kind of singing. But he was there vibing, right? Or maybe my memory is just messed up at this point. But yeah, similar vibe uh, with their uh, jewelry, jewelry track, right? And I think... With Lay Seraphim right now, their, their discography just keeps on growing and growing, right? Maybe, may it be like in Korean, in Japanese, in English, who knows, right? Maybe in other languages in the future and we can't wait. But yeah, let's check out the lyrics here of Dress Code before we watch the MAMA performance. What is, what's happening? Okay. That was Zuha, right? Yeah, yeah. Dress code. I'm the faint light I found well. Okay, so there's some anxiety aura surrounding them, right? Hate aura surrounding them. I like Zua's voice here and the flow. I don't pay any mind to the all the logic flying around. Okay. Lonely cityscape. Maybe it's just their way of saying. Um. Oh wait, they have a line. Uh, we don't dress to impress, but we're still the best dressed, right? So maybe this dress code is kind of similar to that, right? Just ignoring them haters, right? And the way they um uh, handle like all the hate comments, I guess, is with style, right? They know how to turn it around in, in one way or another. That's why it's even the worst I wear with style. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just Lay Seraphim's way of uh, handling all these like hate comments and backlash fr from whatever they did. AKA they're, they're media savvy people. They're a media savvy group. They're doing their way, the Lay Seraphim way. And whatever hate they're throwing at them are definitely not facts, but as they say, trivial. Just having fun with what they want to do. Dancing without care. Again, another Lay Seraphim message being put out here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This part of Chowan here. Out of all the members, I feel like it's a wise choice to give this like uh 
bridge part to yun gen uh, especially without the instrumental because you just feel the emotions uh in in her voice right in the way she delivered these lines and you know i'm not like hating on the other members but i feel like yun jen uh out of all the uh, like among the five uh she can deliver the best emotion especially when singing right <laughs> I did not expect this like uh, bass here in the boom bap. I'm mean, not the boom bap, the dupta. It's a chill song, right? Bars, right? Another positive message from Le Seraphim. Another, you know, guide on how to live life. <laughs> To its fullest but yeah here i am excited for this one we have the uh 2023 mama dance break dress rehearsal again if you guys want to watch like their award shows like previous award shows not just 2023 mama it's all uploaded on patreon i also uploaded like the recent um mma performances there but if you guys don't want to you know check out the patreon i stream on twitch from time to time with these uh award shows but yeah let's check this out let's go Yeah, I'm excited we're gonna see a clear... Is there 4K? Just 1080p? It's still better than the camera work. Oh, I'm excited for her solo with the, with the chest isolations. Let's go. She's that girl. Why does that move look so familiar? Hey, hey. Core strength. It's fun to see because, you know, there's all lights, you know, present while they're performing. Oh my god, Kura. What is she wearing? Like, is this even like a huge ass belt? I didn't even notice that. Oh, she's a killer. She's a veteran. Oh, it's even like a distorted sun. <laughs> if in their MMA. That was MMA, right? MMA 2022, we had the Hydra, right? The Hydra, the Sakura iconic uh, scene of her doing this. And then, you know, all the waves and whatever's happening at the back. And the killing of heads. Now we have this Yunjin's iconic scene. Holy shit, bro. They're born performers. It's it's so they also had a new verse for for Eve Psyche, but you know it's so satisfying to watch, right? Just the isolations. Oh, let, let's run this back. Let's run this back. Let's run this back. 
Yeah, yeah, still got it. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even. That was on, on, like. Bruh. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I think she just. <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. I think she just went cartwheel during that performance, right? If I remember correctly. I didn't, I didn't know that there was someone. Oh my lord. Everything is just clear now with this video. Oh my god. That's taking her ballerina experiences to another level, right? I think it also came from Zuha that sometimes uh she she got quote unquote tired of doing like, you know, raising the, her her legs for for those ballerina um mo peak moments, but now uh I think is a unique way of showcasing again her flexibility and her, you know, her skill as a ballerina. Oh, but they still did it. <laughs> of Chowan's body here. Yeah, one thing about Lee Seraphim's performances is that it's not just eye candy, right? It's not all for the spectacles, right? To make it look good on the outside, but I feel like uh, like all of their performances looks good on the outside and also has like quality right especially when you you know especially for the dancers out there which i am not right but i really appreciate all their performances especially the live i mean the the award show performances because usually they go all out uh with that one and i can't wait to see them uh this coming december 14 uh in aaa 2023 i do hope they're going to be performing right so maybe two to three songs max and yeah I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Peace out.